all over the game chest. My name's Steve. Oh, hi. My name's Arnaz. <laughs> Can never go right on the first try. But today in action figure news, the D4 Real 2019 Burning slash Fire Godzilla is up for order. What is that thing? It's Burning Godzilla. Fire. There's no Burning Godzilla. It's Burning Godzilla. He's burning. He's burning. And yep. then, it's like Fire Rodan, it's Fire Godzilla. But wouldn't the new Rodan be Burning Rodan because he's molten lava? <laughs> no, that'd be Lava Rodan. Rodan! Lava edition. Anyways, so there's that X Plus that's available. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. I think, to me, it's a little too orange. Cheetozilla has no right to talk. Uh, sir, when I watch the movie, there's clearly, like, reds. <laughs> Red accents in it, but... Like, so I think the closest, like, criticism I had when I did the paint job is it should have been more closer to Shin, which I I don't disagree, but also I don't think it should be, like, jet black, though, either. No. And then I, that's I when... Don't think there was any jet black in there at that point. Yeah, at least, like, to me, it didn't seem like that watching the film. You see, like, the models that they put out, it's, like, it makes more sense, but... I don't know. I just I'm not a fan. I really like the pose that it's in with the roaring. It's just like something about it just is really off putting for me. So I think it's a hard pass, but it seems like a lot of the X Plus groups that I'm in they they seem to enjoy the figure still. I'm all like, eh. yeah, none of them really like peak managers. Like the one where he's shooting the beam in the air is kind of cool if you get the rick because it lights up. That would be something else. But then, but again, it's like. I don't like. I don't really care for it though. But then again, I don't know what I really want. Ouch! You hear that, Aaron? Ouch! I think like he has the rick, so like it's fine. Makes for a nice little nightlight <laughs> over the corner of your room. He's a Steve. Anyways, uh, for some of the other collectibles, I'm just gonna get my phone out because there actually was some new stuff that popped up before I sent Arnaz a bunch of photos. Like, NECA's putting out another Ace Ventura figure. This one actually looks really good, though. I'm getting this one. It's like him I'm when so he's at the... Uh, mental institution. Yeah, the mental institution. Or the football player. <laughs> Who man, coach? I can still do it. Looks great. Um, I know, like, I'm hoping they kind of do Ace Ventura 2 stuff. I'm okay. okay with this one. I, did, I think NECA... What are they going to do, the bat? Uh, no, NECA needs to make a rhino. Ugh. With all like the compartments Disgusting. in it, and you can have a switcher come out come the back. Come out of the B hole. <laughs> I need that. Not on the A hole. The B hole. The A hole is the B hole. Exactly. I, <laughs> yeah, I can still get you, and I'm still so tired. Uh, also, you. NECA is putting out TMNT <laughs> Turtles and Time figures. Uh, a lot of these are just like the reissues of like the color ones, but like I, a little different. I swear to God, it's like 99% like the uh, other ones. It's all the ones I have currently on my shelf with the video yeah. game deco. Um, but they've but um, Slash and Leatherback's going to be a part of it, which is cool. But we're also getting standard versions of them. So if you're not really into the video games, I can see this being a pass. Like I'm definitely buying the cartoon ones. I kind of want to get it because Turtles of Time is one of my favorite video games. It's a good video game. But then again, it's also like I'd have... I'd just be getting the same sets over and over again. That's the problem, is you literally have those, Steve. Yeah, so I don't know. I think the re the only thing that's really kind of selling for me is if you've seen the packaging. You know, you can't knock NECA for packaging lately. They got something going on, and they're going with it. God, that, that package is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> the turtles. <laughs> but then again, if I bought them, I'd probably leave them in the box. Exactly. So I would just have, like, the, the horrifying... Box art just like coming down the wall over there, probably. Exactly. Or maybe out in the actual basement next no, to the no, Turtles right. in Time cabinet I have. You got all this empty room right here, Steve. Fill it up. Yeah, well, I just got another display case that's sitting in the back of the truck currently. I'm not sure if it's coming down here or not. Think about putting a bunch of studio trigger stuff in it. Just making like a trigger cabinet and having like Gridman, Darling, and Kill a Kill. Because that's some of my bigger stuff. Tempting. Tempting. And moving on. If I can find it in my phone. Uh, some of the other new stuff is Bandai is releasing um, Anime Hero Series. Uh, so far they're doing Naruto and Saint Seiya. Which I don't really know anything about Saint Seiya, Ooh. so that's already kind of like a for me anyways. The Naruto stuff's like, it's neat. No, it ain't. But it's like, 
it's the only thing I hate about these toy lines is, of course, you got to put out the same characters you always get. You always got to get Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, Kakashi. Like, why can't we just get some of like? I feel like it should have been like Naruto, Sasuke, and like one of the off characters, or even just like one of the female characters would have been great. Like, if they make a I'll Hinata, take okay. I'd, I'd take a Rock Lee too. Like, I'd probably buy the girls, except maybe Sakura. I might par- I, so she big. might be a purchase, but she'd be towards the back of the display. <laughs> I wouldn't buy any of them, honestly, period. <laughs> oh, they don't look that bad. Look, they're, they're very similar to the Dragon Ball Star line. So, like, on a budget, they're great. Not quite the figure arts, but for 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. Yeah. And to be honest, I really like the like Dragon the Dragon Ball line, like the cell one's really sweet. There's a few good ones. Yeah, there's a few good, really good ones. This is like more humanoid characters are kind of, and it's just the way they design the face. It's just like really narrow. But there's also the Mega Blocks Alien Queen that transforms into a box. Oh, that thing! Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, that. I was like, we already, we already showed you, and uh, <laughs> I'm like, the great heck is detail. This? And why don't I have this? Oh, it looks neat. I don't know if I'm gonna grab. There's also just a normal alien that you can purchase too. I just want it for the sake of having it. It's cool because it's like it's alien, but uh, I think for the most part, I'm trying to just stick with like NECA and McFarlane's. Yeah. And Kenner. Kenner. That's like one of the things that's like, I want all aliens, but then, and predators, but then I see in the SH predators, and you're like, oh. Yeah, you just kind of start moving into the other stuff. <laughs> and it's mainly like, I try to just go with what I've grown up with, and I don't really want to branch out. Too yeah. much because then it's like, well, now I bought one, I got to start grabbing everything else. That's your logic. And yeah, that's that's the problem with Steve collecting. So Steve, that's, that's why logic. that's why Steve tries to <laughs> minimize buying. Things. Like I wanted the WWE Master of the Universe figures, but the problem is if I buy one, I kind of got to buy all of them. <gasps> is that the new pansy? That is the new pansy. It's pansy lifting up her skirt for reasons. <laughs> you remember her doing that in the anime? I'm uh, confused. Also. Yeah, she actually does. She uh, does it so she, uh, he it, like he would like her, but then he's like, eh, kind of thing. And she's like, even lifting my skirt doesn't get it going. And he's like, nope. But then he like, in his mind, he's just like blowing his like top. But did she, she have the glasses on? No. No, it was all like no. that? It's when she exposed herself to him. Not the first time. But $207. We don't talk about it. If you're going to order it or import it, please. Uh, but it? Orasuki, if you guys were wondering what the anime was. Why is every pansy figure expensive? Because it's pansy. God. And it looks great. I mean, I'm not knocking it. It looks pretty good, but... Oh. Uh, for some other Godzilla-related items, there is the Jenga set coming out in the near future. It's just a burning building. Well, not even burning. I feel it's like we building. need to play that just for the heck of it. I'm going to buy it. For the Mandalorian, there's some new interesting stuff. We have the Mando Bust... Uh, Why are you even third? talking about that? Because Mandalorian was an awesome show. You know what else was an awesome show that we don't talk about? I don't I don't know. I was just saying. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's other ones out there. <laughs> probably is. Mando is really good. It's probably the best thing that happened to Star Wars since... 1970s? 80s. Return of the Jedi was 80s. Return of the Jedi is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. Since the 80s. Yeah. It's probably the most hyped I've been for one. Granted, like, I really like The Phantom Menace, and I was still really excited for it, but then Attack of the Clones is where it kind of went. <laughs> There's also the Hot Toys Incendiator Trooper. He has a flamethrower. He only shows up in, like, a scene, but he's kind of cool looking. It's That's also so stupid. <laughs> well, it's like, the ig 88s only in, like, three episodes. Let's go, He has a Hot Toys. A very obscure character that only appears once. Yeah. You clearly don't know Star Wars collectors and collectibles. No, no, I don't. Because you know, like collected the old Kenners and stuff, where it's just like this guy was in like the bar scene for like two seconds. There's a figure of him somewhere. Haven't seen any good Star Wars since, like you said, 1980s. That's what I'm saying. Even like a New Hope, like Hammerhead, the weird little like snail looking dude that's only literally in the cantina. Has a figure. Has an original figure. <laughs> I can't deal the with it. It's like, that's just how Star Wars works. 
And troopers are sweet. I like Galactic Troopers. I don't know about the Hot Toys one, but I'm kind of hoping that they maybe do a Black Series one or even a Figure Arts I'd be more inclined to pick up. Then finally, for some anime stuff, Ben Presto is finally putting out a Sue figure for My Hero Academia. Ben Presto. Yeah, they make those little cheap statues, sort of like Sega's. Yeah? That one. It's a pretty basic pose. But I'm kind of excited for it, because you don't really see too many figures of her outside of the expensive Takara Tommy statue we talked about a while back. Oh, God, it looks kind of bad. I mean, she's a good character, but this... I think it looks all right. It's just the pose is weird. Well, like, okay, like, like all this down here is fine, and you look at her face, and you zoom in, and you're like, ooh... Oh, it looks fine to me. She has really big eyes. I don't remember her being dead ugly. I always thought she was good looking. Shh. <sighs> the FOTS is putting out a wedding dress, uh, Rika, from Gridman. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. There's no purpose for that. Like, where did that come from? I just love how, like, this is the series that just gets, like, everything. <laughs> Outside, like, we were even getting kaijus. I, like, uh, like, was it that popular? I guess it had to be since they're making another series. I, 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 but it's her really dress because she's clearly the best girl. So she's already ready to be wedded. I guess I can't complain since Star Wars around. figure makes everything else obscured. A Nico Para. Uh, they're doing some some pop up parades, so they're the fairly inexpensive statues. Uh, Chocola and vanilla. Have you watched it yet? It's on Funimation. No, no I have not. It's not the best. All right, so I think we're somewhere around chocolate and vanilla, Steve. Mmm, I love me some chocolate <laughs> and vanilla. Oh, <laughs> uh, but they're kind of like the characters are cool. Like I like the design, but the anime is just like it's sort of fan servicey. I've never even heard of it, so I honestly. It's about the um, uh, the premises is uh this guy has a cat like um like a bakery shop. And the cats work there. But they're actually like cats. Like, they have bells, and they can't go out without their masters and stuff. That would be some hairy bread. What? And, like, he found them on the side of the road. <laughs> but they look human in that form. Though. Yeah, well, they all, like, all the cats look human in the anime. They even bring home a stray in the one episode. I'm so confused. It's, it's interesting. But um, if, if you're not really into, like, the more fan service kind of animes, you could probably pass on it. Because it's just like a cute cat girl anime, which we have like quite a few of those like anthropomorphic animes this season. <sighs> and from Figma, they're releasing the Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, it's a reissue. So you'll be able to pick that thing up for less than 100 bucks now, which is great. Wow, how much is it? Eh, you're probably looking like 120-ish if you really want to get a hold of one. Ooh. Oh yeah, for that Nico Power anime, there's also more expensive statues. I want to say they're a good amount. I'll correct it. I'm interested. Let me see this. These ones are a little bit more scantily clad. What but they have umbrellas. This is unacceptable. I heard Tata's so small. This should be like anime logic. This should be like 10 feet around and... Like, also, just remember, they're only like a couple years old. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of cats. And this is so. fan service? Oh. Yeah. Like, one of them's literally like... Oh. It looks like one of those gals from an anime. Oh. But they're like, it's like cat ears, like they grow really fast. What's the matter with you, Japan? Right. Oh. Uh, Netroid's also putting out a senior figure oh. for My Hero Academia. I actually pre-ordered that one. It looks pretty good. I've seen the pictures of that one. I like it. It actually, actually has like the tongue coming out. You have the splash. Uh, it's the first one I'm grabbing. Oh, I'm so scarred. <laughs> oh. And finally, we didn't talk about last time, but there is a uh, mega house of the Dragon Ball Super Shalai from the Broly film. Who? She'll lie. She's only in the Broly movie. Don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've never seen that movie, to be honest with you. It's pretty good. I actually just bought it not too long ago. Because mm. i seen the Mega House, and I'm like, eh, I probably should watch that movie so I can kind of understand who the character is before I buy it. She's not even that cute. I lost my interest. I do like that they over-exaggerated her still. Oh, did they? Because in the anime, she's not really like, that big of a character. Although, it's funny because she gets hit on and then Broly almost kills the guy that hits on her. Why? That's his piece of meat? Oh, the, they're friends. Oh, that's his piece of meat. And then she she said no, no meant no, and so Burley was about to crush his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of want to see this now. 
Also, it's, it's not bad, other than like the last 45 minutes, just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the car ring up. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Broly, like he says like a couple lines and then screaming the entire rest of the movie. As he proceeds to beat up everybody. It's pretty amusing. Well, I, have to I also this. love this really I also good. love the whole use of uh, the Dragon Balls in the movie. Uh, no more. Don't don't spoil it for me. I actually want to see this now. It sounds yeah. really good. It's not bad. It's actually a surprisingly long. You know, it kind of retcons a couple things. You get to see Goku's mom in it. Who also needs a mega house figure now? No more. End this. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. So, if we missed any figures, let us know in the comment section below, because we probably did. I'm pretty sure I tried to keep it for some of the stuff that people suggested. Yeah. Because the Mega House was actually a big one, because I actually pre ordered that, and then we just kind of after that. And I'll see you those guys by hitting the like button, subscribe, and cover your See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. bye.